And these are all our iced coffees. These are all cold. None of these are hot, by the way. Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be trying out the best iced coffee recipes. If you guys check out my previous video from this, you've seen that I went to the top coffee shop. Go ahead and give that subscribe if you guys have not ha subscribed to this channel. You know, it's, it's right there. It's, it's right there. All right. So for starters, we are here in my kitchen and we're going to be doing the most easiest, the number one, the first one, the easiest iced coffee you can possibly do. And all you need is instant packets. Yes, instant packets. And our favorite creamer to use is this one right over here. This one is a game changer, you guys. All right, now, so let's go ahead and warm up our water. Ooh, this is a nice look at this steam. 30 seconds, you guys. And you don't need a lot of water to start off with. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and pick whichever you want. Honestly, we're gonna do a Starbucks one today because why the hell not? All right, once you add that in there. So we don't want a lot because I like mine to be an iced coffee. And voila, you guys. All right, so once you have your concoction of this with this sugar and water mix, you are all set to just go ahead and add more water, creamer, or ice. All right, and look at that beautiful separation. Cheers for the first simple, easy iced coffee. Oh, that's so strong. So for the next one, we're gonna be doing the infamous, famous Del Gato, Del Gato, Del Gato, Del Gato, Del Gato. Is that how you say it? We're gonna go ahead and just prep everything on our beautiful glass cage right over here. So for this one, I'm gonna be using the Cafe Busco. Cafe Busco is a really strong coffee, but this one, it's a perfect, perfect for this occasion. Honestly, if you guys wanna pick me up, get this brand. This brand is amazing. So for this, you will need a measuring spoon. It's up to you if you wanna use one. You could always eyeball it. Depending for how many people you're doing, um, since it is an Insta coffee, it's only gonna be for me. But we're gonna go ahead and fill this up, one up with sugar and one up with water. This is a crucial part. You need to mix this all up. We're gonna go ahead and use a machine because it is easier and it helps us out way faster. This is a minute of whipping. Not bad so far. Ooh, look at that. We're at the whipping stage, you guys. We're so close. We're almost there. Ooh, we're there already. Ooh, ooh. All right. The thing that I love the most about this is the fact that it's just like a different consistency. Like, it's so light and airy. But this is like the best, the best style for you to do. And the thing I love the most about Cafe Busco is that it's smooth. Like, it is the smoothest coffee I have tried in a very long time. Once we have that done, you could either do it the whipping and then put the milk on the bottom and this on top, or you could just do it this way. And I just go ahead and add the milk on it and the milk will rise and it's all a day. Or just eat it like this. Just kidding, don't do that. This is the way I honestly do it because I don't really like using a lot of dishes, but if I want it for Instagram, I would definitely do the foaming thing on another bowl and then I'll just place it on top. But honestly, this way is another best way for you to drink it. It's so good. Moving on. This is one of the classicals that I like to do and honestly, it's my favorite. And if you guys have not followed me on my Instagram, this is the way I do it. So this is how you get the best espresso shot in the market <laughs> using this Nespresso machine. Now, honestly, a lot does have to do with the pods that you buy. So it just depends on what flavor you like. So it all depends on what type of pod you use. I'm going to be using today the Colombian from Starbucks. We're going to pop that baby in. Close it in, do a one shot or two shots, depending on how watery you want it or how strong you want it. The majority of them are one shot, so call it a day. I do two shots because I kind of want that extra boost, since I just drink it like this. And voila, we have our best style of coffee. Look at this. Just beautiful. This has been my family's favorite style of drinking coffee, to be honest. It just brings a different experience to you. Like, if you guys have not tried an espresso machine, the espresso shot, honestly, it just like brings life and joy and happiness to your life. If you guys are a coffee lover, trust me, 
getting espresso shots are like the best way for you to actually like enjoy a coffee. And when it comes to iced coffees to make or just on the go, I love this one right over here. It has already sugar in it. It has piloncillo cafe. Cafe de olla, I've never tried it until like probably like three years ago. And it has been like my dad or heart. Like if you have cafe de la olla, at your restaurant i will order it trust me i will order it but the only downside is that not everyone does it good like a lot of them are cheap scapes like cheap scapes you know my little sister loves sugar drinks instead so i go ahead and i use the dulce de leche one. Oh, it's so sweet dulce de leche is like the best one look at this then we're gonna go ahead and add warm water and again it does have to be warm whisk it and while that's whipping this is probably going to be the sweetest one out of all of them that coffee is like so richly sweet it's just like so my camera died which is amazing which is fine once we have this mix completely we're going to go ahead and add an ice up to you on how much ice you want to go ahead and put all right you guys so the moment that we've been waiting for ready for the pouring look at this Oh yeah, and that's an aesthetic coffee for you. Now you honestly don't need to invest in one of those frothing machines, but if you like the aestheticness and go ahead, it's a little bit on the pricier side. I did get mine at a thrift store, so try finding yours at a thrift store too. Why not? If it still works, clean it, put some vinegar, clean it really good, and then go ahead and use it. Cheers! I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what's your favorite coffee down below if you guys have tried any coffee in particular that you guys want me to try i'm i'm down to do your guys's coffees i love coffee so sweet and these are all our iced coffees these are all cold none of these are hot by the way i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video there's only a problem now i need food because i'm gonna be really hyper for the whole entire day